Good evening as we come on the air in the West tonight and we do begin with the breaking news involving that active scene late today. Five law enforcement officers shot. There is word at least one has died. They were all responding to a call. It was an active shooter incident for a time in Florence County, South Carolina. Authorities were warning everyone to stay away. And just moments ago, word coming in of at least one dead tonight and word of a suspect in custody. ABC's Steve Osinsami leading us off. We're learning tonight that one officer is dead and others are seriously wounded in what police in Florence, South Carolina, were calling an active shooter incident. We have an officer down at this time. Ambulances were racing to the scene. Three county deputies and two city officers were shot in a neighborhood west of downtown. The suspect was still firing. Nearby West Florence High School was immediately put on lockdown and athletic teams that were practicing were brought inside. There were dozens of police officers who responded to this incident, and tonight we are learning from Florence police that they do have a suspect in custody, but they're still encouraging people to keep away from this area because they're dealing with this investigation. David. All right, Steve Osinsami leading us off tonight. Steve, thank you. Seven sheriff's deputies and police officers shot, one fatally trying to serve a search warrant at a home in Florence, South Carolina. The suspect in custody has not been identified. Officials say he barricaded himself in the home with children, prompting a two-hour standoff. Officers were shot as they tried to help their comrades. Officials say they did not realize just how much firepower the suspect had. Fire was being shot all over. The way the suspect was positioned, his view of fire was several hundred yards. So he had an advantage. And the officers couldn't get to the ones that's down. The Florence officer who was killed identified as 30 year department veteran Terrence Carraway. President Trump tweeting his thoughts and prayers to law enforcement in Florence.